Alrighty, man. Let's see if I can take down both videos with one shot. Um, first, your stress video. I'm going backwards here, but whatever. Anyway, let's see. Uh, I advise taking a paintball or something. Go hunting, you know, maybe something like that. You might find something enjoyable. Like I said, find something that you can do just by yourself. Or like maybe with a group of people, you know, getting some group activities maybe. If you can find some people that aren't fucking assholes. But given you're in a small town, there's always going to be fucking assholes. <coughs> anyway. Um, then on to your other video. You know, if you want to dump anger, it's best to just let it go. Um, the stronger you hold on to it, the stronger it holds on to you. It's like, when you're shaking someone's hand, you're tr trying to play crush the knuckles, you know. And they're growing, grabbing back just the same, you know. But, whatever, you know. Make your peace and that should take care of a lot of it. Um, it is very hard to change people that you yourself have harmed and admittedly have harmed but you can always try um, about the food stuff man I think that's a good idea you know if you hate your fucking job you know find someplace better or hell you're saying there's no upscale restaurants in your um, uh, local area check out what the market is for starting one it doesn't have to be like seriously freaking fancy but it can still be more upscale you know I think you could do that you know hell you can move into some city somewhere maybe uh, someplace in California uh, you know Nevada has a large market for that kind of thing but it depends on you man that's that's kind of kind of what you gotta consider you know but yeah man I, th I think you're definitely moving in a good direction you know that's my point of view about it uh, but yeah man it's a good thing about this kind of stuff but don't don't just drag it out don't let it weigh constantly on your mind you know but yeah, chain restaurants fucking suck, you know. And the thing is, if you don't like dealing with snotty people, you know, you can't work in places where there's going to be snotty people. you got to work where there's... The thing is, here's how I'm seeing this, man. You're cooking in a place where people don't know what food is. So, you're getting this problem where um, people order food based on the description in the menu not because they know what the hell it is which is really how you should order food but if they don't know what the hell it is and they want to try it anyway you know that's just learning experience but I think I think you'll do alright man but New Orleans I, I don't know there's still a lot of still a lot of uh, stuff on that you know they're still rebuilding they're still doing stuff like that I'm not sure how many people are coming back on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, Texas right now, though, that's that could be an interesting place to do it. Because uh, what you can do is uh, try and start your own restaurant. You know, if you want to try that, get somebody who knows a uh, business experience to do the running part. You just be the cook, or find somebody that's trying to start a restaurant and offer to be a cook. You know, it's up to you. <clears throat> but just see how it goes, man. I wish you luck.